So I'm here with the miserable liberal Steph Zamorano and well, he, Alan Thick died. He was a famous actor from that Growing Pains, right? With uh, that's where Kirk Cameron. Nobody knows these people anymore. Twenty years ago, the show was on TV, right? Maybe thirty. <laughs> Probably thirty. It's a long time ago, but it was part of my childhood, right? Uh, Kirk Cameron, childhood. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so he died recently, so as unexpectedly. So he wasn't the, he was still relatively young these days. He was in his late sixties, and he just died of a heart attack, I think. And so Lisa Edelstein, who is a actress from that House series on Fox, mm -hmm. she tweeted out, "Our APL and Thick seems like everyone is checking out before the Trump apocalypse." <laughs> now. If he was like I don't know eight years old and died of uh, that'd be that'd be a, I wouldn't make that joke, but he's lived a long prosperous life. He's had a great life. He had his own talk show. Remember he had Thick of the Night. Remember that? That's what I. That was a big deal. He was going to be the new thing, Alan Thick. They had Thick of the Night. It was his big talk. Oh, finally we're going to have somebody to challenge the late night people. Didn't work out. And uh, but then he, you know, a lot of success with the TV and stuff. Right. So he's been a rich, famous guy for a long time and uh, he's nearly 70. So it is, although it's, you know, it, to me, that's young. I don't want I would certainly want to live. With, my dad is still living. My dad retired when he was 57 because his dad died when he retired right away. His dad was my grandpa died when he was like 63 or something. So my dad retired as soon as he could. And because he thought he was going to die right away, and he's still alive. He's been he's been retired longer than I've been a comedian. So he's been retired thirty one years. That's a long time. My dad's been retired thirty one years. That's great. So I don't know why I brought that up. Anyway, so then all of a sudden she started getting a hard time. Lisa Edelstein slammed for Alan. This is from Hot One Hundred Two Point Five. How did I find this? <laughs> How did I find this? You know how you click the things and it takes you somewhere on the internet? That's what happened. So this is uh, Lisa Edelstein slam for Alan Thick tweet, death was to avoid Donald Trump. So these are people who slammed her on Twitter. Uh, it says, one, he was Canadian. Two, a family lost a husband and a father. This is not the time for politics. I, I kind of I am, am in favor for uh, talking about politics when I'm dead. Uh, me too. I like that he was Canadian. <laughs> I, never, I didn't even think about that, that he was Canadian. But he lived here, right? He still lives here. Uh, the man died in front of his 17-year-old son a week before Christmas. But LOL, Trump, right? Yeah, I don't think she told that joke to his kid. I don't think she said that in his living room. I don't think she said... Right? She's a person far... First off, it's Trump apocalypse. It's Trump ocalypse. Trump ocalypse? I don't know. Not whatever the hell you wrote. Second, you're a horrible person. Come oh, on. Oh, wow, neon taste. No matter which political party one belongs to, it's never right to joke on someone's death and loss. Legal? Yes, right. 100% not. Okay, that's wrong. What are you talking about? People make jokes about people's deaths all the time. People make Holocaust jokes. Are you kidding me? My my uncle died in the Holocaust. He got drunk, fell out of a guard tower. The point is, see, that's a joke. <laughs> that's a joke. It even made Arnold laugh. So it's, that's, it's you don't need, con see, this is exactly, first of all, people need to understand this about comedy. You need comedy for the things that scared the shit out of us the most. Right. That's what we need. Uh, you don't need comedy to lighten your load of spending the afternoon at Disneyland. You need co you need comedy to help uh, poke fun at the things that scare the hell out of us, like death and disease and war and horribleness. You need comedy to shield yourself because if you don't laugh, you'll cry. That whole thing. So. um and you'll be terrified. So that's why you need com you need comedy for the exact things that scare the shit out of you the most. So they're wrong about that. And it's okay to make fun of. Um, we're not making. She wasn't making fun of Alan Thick for dying. <laughs> <laughs> ha ha! He's dead. Ha ha! 
It's not what she was doing. So would it be okay if an actor in another country died and she made that joke? Would it be okay if... Uh, I, anyway, it is okay. And uh, Alan Thicke was supposed to be... A, I mean, he was a comedic guy. He hosted a late-night talk show, so that they give that to comedy guys or people who they consider to be comedic. <laughs> so anyway, there you go. Uh, good for you, Lisa Adelstein, making a joke. And uh, by the way, she's not apologized 